Now available for the first time on Google Play, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are falling apart in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy on Google Play today. surf shop owner in Santa Barbara, California is alleged to have murdered his two young children with a spear fishing gun. In this incident, Matthew Kalman is alleged to have taken his two children to the U.S.-Mexico border in a hotel and murdered them because he believed his children were going to turn into serpentine monsters. Now, the police are seeing this as an isolated incident. But when I take a critical examination of the behavior of Matthew Kalman's alleged actions, they fit right in line with the pattern and profile I talk about regarding beta males in my book, The Man Crisis. And it's clear to me that your Matthew Kalman was living in a rose-colored world created by your conspiracy theorists. Now, your Matthew Kalman was allegedly a follower of QAnon, a group of individuals who are caught up in political conspiracy theories and because he was caught up in the rose-colored world of those conspiracy theories he was just not thinking critically about his family or his children's safety now as he was getting caught up in these conspiracy theories he could not perceive the difference between the fantasy ideals of the conspiracy theories or going out here and taking care of his family in real life. And as his rose-colored delusions began to color his reality, what happened to your Matthew Kalman allegedly was he started to believe that these conspiracy theories that were in this rose-colored world were real and thought that, these, that his children were going to become these serpentine creatures and this was what motivated him to go out here and participate in the murders, allegedly, of his children. But this is par for the course with your beta males, because beta males have a hard time perceiving between fantasy and reality, and a lot of them, really, they take everything presented to them on the World Wide Web very literally, and because they take everything that's presented to them on the World Wide Web literally, this is what makes these males extremely dangerous individuals to deal with because these individuals when they get a hold of information they don't really think critically about it and what they do is take this information on the internet for face value without ever thinking about once trying to confirm one of these sources to assure that the information they are receiving is valid information and to assure that the information that they are getting is factual. And it's clear to me that the information that this beta male was receiving from the group QAnon was absolutely completely illogical because there was no way his children could grow up to become what he thought to be these serpentine children because he's a human being and the children are coming from his seed. So if the children were to become these so-called serpentine children, then he would be the person who would have the serpentine DNA and that's the only way that could happen because the male gene is dominant biologically. Unfortunately, when you become caught up in internet conspiracy theories, you don't have the critical thinking skills to understand that what is being presented to you is virtually impossible. And what's really deeply sad about this whole situation was is that this man seemed to have a perfect life. I mean, he had a family, he had a business, a surfing school, he was doing what he enjoyed and he was enjoying a great family life and a great business and he threw it all away because he sat there and got caught up in the echo chambers of the internet and because there was nobody there to help him filter this information, he wound up believing all of this insanity to be truth, and that insanity led to him destroying his family and his life. 
And this is what happens to a lot of males out here, especially beta males, because they have nobody there to help them vet information. They go out here believing these lies to be true, and because they believe the lies to be true, what they do is go out here and participate in extreme acts of violence like this because they are buying into these crazy conspiracy theories and never really understanding that not everything on the internet should be believed because a lot of these sources that are presenting this information, they aren't really things that can be confirmed. And that's what happens when you go on places like online echo chambers. You just keep listening to information from conspiracy theorists. And these conspiracy theorists, they have you filling you with fear and filling you with crazy ideas. And what's really troubling is some of the people who listen to this stuff, they act on this behavior. And what happens is they wind up taking the life of, some, of somebody that they love like in this case. Now, I look at your map, at your um, Matthew Kalman, and it's just deeply troubling to see this guy throw away his life. But this is something that beta males do because beta males, they are not good critical thinkers. They don't know how to use logic and reason, and they don't know how to go out here and search out counterpoints for information. So they just take what's given to them on these dark internet sites and sites like QAnon to be true. And that's that's what they do. And that's, again, all part of the rose-colored thinking because people who have rose-colored thinking, they really do not live in reality. And because they don't live in reality, what happens is they wind up destroying the lives of real people like this man did to his wife and his children and they wind up make, putting themselves in a situation where they go from being a successful businessman to being in jail and being headed on the road to going to possibly being convicted of a crime and then going to prison where they, instead of them going out here and taking care of their children, they're being taken care of by Bubba and Tiny, traded for Little Debbie Snack Cakes and Raymond Noodles. And that is the final fate, sadly, of this man who had a surfing school and sadly this is what happens to a man in crisis when there is nobody there to intervene and let him know that the ideas you see online as related to conspiracy theories are not real and you need to really chill out on these on, on all this internet because the world wide web isn't the real world and if you try to act on things that you see in the World Wide Web, in the real world, you have to deal with real world consequences, and those real world consequences can lead to you winding up on a road going to prison, sadly, like this father of two is on right now, and all because you wanted to believe what somebody wrote on the World Wide Web without ever thinking about going and doing more of a search on DuckDuckGo or any other place to confirm this with sources or even to just go out here and do some research because a lot of times what you see on the World Wide Web is opinion and it isn't substantiated facts and that's why you have to go out here and do your due diligence and your research because the world of conspiracy theories is something that really you can't really get too far into because as you get too far into it like this guy you wind up on a road where you're in prison for the rest of your life now if you want to learn more about extremely dysfunctional beta males like this you can pick up my book the man crisis on amazon.com in paperback and kindle format you can also find it on smashwords the ibook store and google play and if you want to see me make more videos about men's issues like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, subscribe. Now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, Dark Succubus. The man who rules the world is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus in paperback or pre-order on Kindle Unlimited today.